Lose your life for Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for um, August, uh, October the 20th, 2020, according to St. Luke. Then he said to them all, If anyone wants to become my follower, let them deny themselves and take up the cross daily and follow me. For those who want to save their lives will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will save it. What does it profit them if they gain the whole world, but lose or forfeit themselves? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words, of them will the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. But truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. Lose your life for Christ. We priests and bishops, the bishops and we priests, every time we put the cross, we priests say these same words. Whoever wants to come after me, let him deny himself, pick up his cross and follow me. And then we say, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. I would like to talk a little bit about me, because I don't have many examples, and I don't want to be rude against anyone. I remember that I uh, went to elementary school, where this congregation of Roman Catholic priests was administering. I never had any problem with them, thank God. My mom was very, very close, and we never stayed with them, only for the morning. But there, at some point in my life, when I was about 12 years old, my mom took me to the seminary, to their seminary. And I don't remember how or when or why, but I just remember myself talking to God that day in the seminary, telling him, Lord, I like women too much. I will not be able to make it here. And then I just sort of almost forget forgot about God for many, many years. Thanks to my wife, I started getting again into the Mass and all of that with the Roman Catholics. And then at one point, after many very unsavory situations, a kidnapping attempt, a attempt on my person, and many difficulties in the business, Somebody invited me to the to this uh, Cursillo de Cristiandad, to this very short retreat for Christianity. And I met God there for the first time. Truly met Him. He granted me to, to feel His presence. I remember back then that I used to have my business, a business that had taken me more than 20 years to build. And that's when God started prodding me, started seducing me, and it took him many years, many years, almost 10 years, for me to say yes. At that day when, I, when we were going to the retreat, I remember driving by the place that was my factory and hearing in my mind those words, some words of a, of a song, of a Mexican, well, Spanish song, about leaving the boat on the sand. And looking at that, because my business used to be a, a concrete block plant, manufacturing plant with several other things. And we had piles of sand, so I saw it and I, I was remembering that. Just a few days ago, I drove by the same place and I thought, I truly have left the boat, truly. Thank God, just recently, I was able to sell most of the things that I had, almost everything, and that was really good. So I have nothing more to attach me to that place. To lose your life for Christ is to change entirely. 
I used to be a businessman, like I said, I used to have different uh, manufacturing facilities and stuff, and I shut them all down. At the beginning, I thought that I was going back. But as I progressed into the seminary, because God got me into the Roman Catholic seminary, I started, God started changing me within, from within. And he got me ordained with the Roman Catholics as a deacon, as a married deacon. And then he was so gracious to take me over to the Orthodox and true Church of God, where he has made me a priest, unworthy as I am. But now, even through this unprofitable, rebellious leper of servant, God acts on you. He is the one that blesses you through my hands and my voice. He is the one that enlightens you through this despicable servant of His that I am. And I pray to God every day that I might become truly his servant and truly faithful. And I pray also to him that you will be granted his great mercy. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.